then magically we're back. <laughs> um, so our transaction went through. We got our event token, which is a crow feather, and we got 1.25 sunflower tokens. All right, I think that's all that we can do right now because I haven't been able to complete any of my challenges. They refresh every day. Um, I could skip an order, but I don't think I'm going to uh, because all these things are obtainable. Um, I just, <laughs> I don't have the resources right now and I don't, like I can skip the order to get something that is obtainable, but like tomorrow I'm going to have sunflowers. I'm going to have cabbages tomorrow. Uh, probably could get this tomorrow as well. Um, I don't have any apples growing, so maybe actually I will skip this order. And I don't think I, I, I don't think you can skip this one. I don't think it's one per each person. Let me see what happens. Uh, no, it did skip. Okay. So we got another cake, uh, which we can't make right now, and we got fermented carrots, which we can do, just not at the moment because we're currently making some blueberry jam. But after I go to sleep, when I wake up in the morning, the blueberry jam will be done, and we'll... Oh no, we're, we're actually... Don't have enough carrots. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we'll make blueberry jam again, but then we'll have carrots tomorrow, so all should be fine. But yep, I will see you in the very short future. All right, and time has fast forwarded once again. Uh, so we'll go ahead and collect our little mushroom there. So we're close to being able to buy some more blueberry seeds. Let's stock up on that, but uh. We still have a lot. <laughs> we still have 20, over 20. Um, yeah, let's harvest these eggplants. Eggplanties. Plenty of eggs. Eggplants are such an interesting plant. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so this is something that can happen where if you have too many of something, then they want you to connect to the blockchain to go ahead and save the progress. So what I'm going to do is try to use up some of this eggplant because I'm not really ready to connect to the blockchain yet because I'm about to do that. So I can make an eggplant cake. i will get rid of 30. Um, or I could do this pumpkin ganache, but uh, that uses up my potatoes. It also uses 30 of the eggplant. So either the cake or that's going to use a good bit. So that gives me 1100 XP. This gives me 1500 XP. But I do use my eggs, which I don't want to do. So I think we're going to do the gadosh. And harvest more of these. There we go. <clears throat> All right, now, like I said, I've got a busy day today, so I'm going to plant these eight-hour parsnips because it's going to be a while before I can get back to this. All right. Now, I think if I remember correctly from last time, we're done with pickaxes and stuff. Yeah, I can't make anything else with that. Um, we'll eat our salad and our jam. Then we'll get the... Oh no, we can't do the carrots yet. That's right. Alright, we'll do the jam again. <laughs> and I think that covers pretty much everything because I don't think I can make the cakes that I need either. Yeah, because I don't have the sunflower or the cabbages right now. Alright, so we're kind of at a standstill at the moment. 
but I will fast forward time in a little bit and we'll be back here. Uh, but I do want to take a minute to talk about my views on the ethics and morality of blockchain and cryptocurrency um, because it is a very hot button issue. Um, I do not like proof of work blockchains, even though I think that there is a defense for them. Ultimately, I feel like that defense falls short, but I can understand why people are in favor of things, like particularly Bitcoin. Um, and I highly support Ethereum's move to go to proof of stake to reduce the energy usage that they were creating. Um, I don't really have an issue with blockchains that have a very, very low um, carbon impact, especially considering so many um, just services that we use on a daily basis that we really don't need to use and the, the carbon <laughs> impact that they produce. I mean, thinking about things like YouTube, like what you're watching this on. Um, I don't consider YouTube to be anywhere near um, a necessary service for most of the content that's viewed on it. Um, I think that there's definitely some content that I would argue is necessary, um, but compared to the amount of content that is consumed on YouTube, um, that is not necessary. It, it's a huge carbon impact. Um, and that's not even including things like the amount of energy that the device that you're viewing it on is using compared to like using a smartphone to streaming YouTube to your giant, you know, smart TV. Um, Cause they're gonna have very different uh, carbon impacts. So with, with that said, I don't really see too big of an issue with blockchains that have a really low carbon impact. Um, but I do have an issue with blockchains that have a high carbon impact because the environment's a little bit important. I don't like some people don't think so, but that's, that's something I feel strongly about. Um, but I do recognize the differences between the different um, the proof methods and blockchains and the divide between them with um, their energy usage. Not all blockchains are the same. Um, so if anyone's wondering, hey, why are you doing anything with cryptocurrency and blockchain? It's killing the environment. Um, this isn't Bitcoin. <laughs> this is ran on Ethereum and on a, um, a Polygon second layer, which even further makes it more efficient and less of a carbon impact. Um, so that's why that's the only reason why I'm even bothering to do this is because I feel like this has a very very small um, impact on the environment. Uh, if this was like instead of um, you know like digital assets on Ethereum, if we were talking about like Bitcoin ordinals or something, I would not be doing this. So I did want to clear that up. Um, but yeah, so I will fast forward time and I'll see you in a second. 